That's right, I'm exposing it all. This is the exact AI content automation system that I have built to run my faceless page that my team and I have used to scale this brand to over 100K followers across Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. In this video, I'm exposing my cheat code to building this content creation dashboard and how I use this AI automation built with make.com and Airtable to come up with all of my content ideas. These ideas go on to make me hundreds of dollars and sometimes even thousands in the case of the TikTok Creator Rewards program. But this video is not about that. Today, we're focusing on system, so you can can build this content dashboard for a faceless brand like this or you can build it for your personal brand like this but for both of these the same thing is true if you're wanting to make money with social media you need to be running your pages like a business and this content system was the cheat code to me being consistent so it's only fair that I share this system with you so I just want to reinforce that this isn't just some fluff I'm actively using this for my personal brand and as you can see from this <laughs> busy database we're actively utilizing this for my faceless brand and these pages with these automations that i'm going to show you how to build in this video super simple with all the templates done for you have generated literally millions of views and are making thousands of dollars so this is actually functional ai not just something that looks cool for a youtube video and like always guys i've got a notion doc down below that you can literally get all of these blueprints for this automation and not only that i've also done a work around because no code kit is not working right now so I've troubleshooted this and because I'm actively utilizing this system for my own personal pages I had to figure out a workaround and I'm going to show you guys an option with no code kit and an option without no code kit. If you don't have a make account you can get a 30 day free trial on the pro plan if you sign up using the top link in my description. Now without further ado let's jump into the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build out this content ideation dashboard. Lock in folks because this is a valuable one. Step one, go down below and grab the Notion template. This is gonna allow you to download and import these blueprints so you can skip all of the faff of building this out yourself. So once you're inside the Notion, there's two things you need to grab. You need to grab these .json files, which are the blueprints for make.com. And two, you need to grab these Airtable templates, which allows you to actually build out that content dashboard database. Now, let me jump into make.com and show you what these look like and how to import them. So once you signed up and have an account inside make.com, you need to go up in the top right and click create a new scenario. And then we're going to name this scenario, let's just say the content um, ideation dashboard. And then to import that, we need to click on the three dots down here and click import blueprint choose file. Now I'm going to show you without zero code kit because that's down right now. So let's jump in and click TikTok content dashboard, save. And there we go. It imports the whole automation literally like that rapidly. So now we need to go and grab the Airtable database. I'll show you how to do that. So in the Notion template, you need to come here down to the Airtable and you need to click this top link and it's going to give you access to this database. Then you want to click use this data and you're going to be able to basically make a copy of my dashboard. So click use data. And then if you don't have a workspace and you go through the Airtable, you can watch my other video as I go step by step of how to set up Airtable. But if you do just click my workspace and then choose a base, I would suggest create a new base and then click create table. And now you're going to have everything ready to go and actually connect everything up inside make.com. So as you're watching this, you're probably like me and interested in how you can implement AI into your business. That's exactly what I've been doing for the past couple of months. And some of the things I've done will literally blow your mind. Scale an Instagram and TikTok page to 50,000 followers. Created an AI artist on Spotify, got 120,000 streams and got my first check for $464. And built an entire online academy completely using AI. So if you're seeing this AI revolution and you don't know how to take advantage of it, join the forefront of innovation in the AI creatorpreneur community. As you can see, you've got exactly the same database as what I had and you've got the new scenario make.com. Now it's just the case of linking everything together. So over here, we're gonna call this, name your database, I'll just say um, content ideation dashboard and then inside make.com we need to go and actually connect this up so you'll have to connect your Airtable to your make.com with an auth key again watch my previous video if you haven't done this before i take you step by step on how to do that and then you want to connect to the base so you need to find the one you've just made so content ideation dashboard is the one i've just made and then we're going to go and see it will just be called the next one will be grid view so you can then change this let's rename this to video there we go and then we should be able to refresh this and now we can see videos okay and that worked 
And then it will have all of these tables. You want to just leave this as it is and click OK. So now we're literally ready to run this automation. Now, as you can see here, it's already got the links to this script here. And I'm going to show you now what the outputs are and is very relevant to my niche and the content that I'm creating. But by showing you this process, you, you can then adapt these prompts and outputs to whatever needs you need for your niche and for your business. So let me just show you the example of the output by running this once. So now let's jump back into the notion and take a look at what the workaround is. So to be able to actually not use no code kit, we need to use DuckDub to transcribe these videos. And so when it comes to ideating and creating content, you need to be following the top performing pages in your niches. And I'm going to show you an example exactly how to do this. So for my niche, let's just say the text conversation niche, I'll go onto YouTube because I create content on TikTok and then I'll let you just search text conversations. As you can see, we got a bunch of shorts and it's literally as simple as you watching them, you see their engagement. So I'm gonna go on shorts and you look for high engaging shorts. So if I go to filters and then I go to this month and then I filter by views. And then I scroll. DoorDash conversation. Funny text messages ever. So then I'll go hey, here, are you I'll over click your this conversation I'm then gonna go and I'm gonna copy this URL. And then we're gonna go to a software called DuckDub. And this is gonna be the workaround. Usually you'd use the no code kit and it's fully automated, but this literally takes a few seconds and the rest of the automation is the powerhouse. So then I'm gonna go to AI transcription. And then we're gonna click YouTube and transcribe. And this tool is honestly insane, guys. If you haven't signed up to DuckDub, I definitely recommend. I'll have a discount code down below as well. This is honestly incredible. It allows you to download videos, allows you to transcribe videos, and it takes literally seconds. So when we can't do it ourselves, there we go. We've literally got all of this ready. So if any of you guys have been building your own automations and you've struggled with no code kit not working, as you can see, this comes with captions as well. So all of your YouTube chapter automations, like everything to do with basically transcribing YouTube videos works if you use DuckDub as the sort of intermediary manual. So then what I'm gonna do is copy text. Then I'm gonna go over to my database and then I'm gonna in old script, I'm literally gonna paste it in there. And then for the YouTube video URL, I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that in there. And so we're basically ready to go at this point. So now I'm going to go over to Airtable. I'm going to disconnect this and I'm just going to run once. View, it's not found. Grid view, let me just double check. Reconnect this bit. There we go. Click OK. And then let's run once again. There we go. So as you can see, we've now collected the data, which is the old script. So this is now where the magic happens. Unfortunately, I had to do that workaround because of no code kit, but it's still super valuable. So we've got the old script and now I'm going to basically get make.com to create me a new script and then to give me a script template so then I could actually utilize this again in the future. And then also I want a simple block text because I'm gonna put this into Sooner AI and create myself a song. So just stick with me here, don't lose me just cause that's super niche specific. So I'm gonna run this through, I'm gonna show you the outputs and then I'm gonna to explain to you guys why this is so valuable. Yeah, this is honestly gonna blow your mind. And then anyone who is interested in doing text conversations or the singing text niche, this again is really, really good. Okay, so one thing I obviously forgot to do, you have to link these databases as well. So let me just quickly go and the TikTok content, um, the content ideation dashboard, and then I need to click videos. Record ID is gonna come from here. And then this is going to be, okay, so this is going to be the new script where basically I let AI have a go. So then I'm gonna go content and text, and this is gonna input that new script. So I basically, I'm taking their script and I'm saying AI make some changes. Uh, so here's a script of the text conversations. Within the script, I need to do the following tag. Make minor changes to the storyline, narrative, but keep the narrative the same. So I'm basically asking it, I'm giving it like a an outline to try, change this, and then I'm gonna see whether it's good. But most of the time I go and add my own tweaks, etc. But sometimes that can give you some new ideas from what AI has actually come up with. So I always like to do this as one of the options. So now I've linked the database, I can click OK, and that should have everything linked. And then I'm gonna have to do this for each one of those. So that's that one's going to be the, the potential new script and then I'll show you guys the prompt for this one. So this is what's going to create the uh, script for song. Yeah, so this is going to be the script for song. So I'm going to link this with the script for song. 
yeah okay cool so that's linked there i just need to link it to the right base which is again the content ideation dashboard relink it here and then script for song we're going to go to content we're going to link this output text okay people so i made a bit of a mistake here my fat fingers i was meant to here i was meant to hit text content and text which is basically the output from claude ai but i've hit type which is basically like saying what the type of the output is which is text so i'm gonna have an error after i run this but the read that's the reason why so here as you can see right there it should say content and then text so yeah don't make the same mistake as me and okay and then we're gonna do the final one for this one as well. So this is gonna be the template. And what I've asked it here is to basically extract the names mentioned in the original script and change them to name. So then we've got like a blueprint, but I'll show you on the output and you'll be able to easily see what I mean. So here we're then gonna go and again, connect to the content ideation dashboard. There we go. Then we're gonna click videos. And then this is gonna be the script template. And then again, I'm gonna do the content and then text. Ooh. Right. Content and then text. Okay, cool. And then that's good. We'll click OK. So now everything's linked. We can run this again. Okay, once this is done, I'll jump back in. So if we go over to the air table, we can see that the potential new script, the one that AI's had a go with, is here. And then we're going to get the text for song. And then we're also going to get the template. Oh, that one has had a, a mare. But this has worked. So let me just double check why that's only output. Okay, so if you're ever unsure about where the mistake's actually made, you can go in and if you click the one next to the module that you want to take a look at, and you can actually open up to see what the bundles of data were. So as you can see, when I click text response, it has actually done what I wanted it to, but I'm not selecting the right output. So this is where, like I said earlier, where I clicked type instead of text. As you can see there, I'm outputting the content type, not the text response. So it's a super easy fix. I just need to go into the update a record Airtable module and change that to text, which I'll do right now. Okay, so I figured out the problem. It's good to show you guys these things because of troubleshooting. Sometimes you have some issues. So here when it says content and type, content and text is what you need, not type. That's why it was obviously making a mistake. So I'm gonna run it, hit save, save anyway, and I'm gonna run this one more time. Okay, so we're running it again. And as you can see, we've got, so to get into this view, you can go over here. That's the original script. This is the new one that AI has come up with. And then we're gonna get the script for song now will work. Here we are. So this is the really cool part. For the song, I get a super simple script here with, with none of the formatting. And then I get a title, which gives me an outline of the actual script itself. And then I also get this, which has a P1 and P2. So it actually breaks down line by line who's saying what in the conversation. And using a software called VSub, which I'm gonna be talking about in the future, I'll pop up a little example here. So you see here, VSub actually requires you to break it down like this, P1, P2. And so you literally have it formatted, ready here to go and input it into this AI tool. And then if you click import like this, you can literally have the entire text conversation ready to go. And all you have to come down and do is click create video and you've literally made some high quality text conversations. But I'm gonna be dropping a full video on that in the future. But this just shows how valuable these AI automations are saving you time. And you have to have a little think about guys, what would be most beneficial to you so if you need like a three bullet points of the main information you get from this you can ask the ai to give you some cta examples maybe like a comment cta a follow cta and a share cta and how to best integrate it into the script you can basically ask it to do a bunch and with these examples again you can change the potential new script the template and the script for the song to be whatever you want you could get it to give you an example of a tiktok script you give give it an example for a long form youtube script you could give it an example of an email this is honestly can 
be utilized however you guys want. It's all down to these prompts that you give these tools. But just showing the fact that you can create this database that you can then basically start building up a content creation system, have a way of actually tracking things. And you can add these tabs where you can visually see what's being done, what needs to be done, and the steps for your creation process. But that's it, I've exposed to you guys my content dashboard. I've given you all the templates. I showed you an example of how I'm incorporating it for my niche and how you can change the prompts for your niche. Right, a rapid speed run of how to actually utilize this, just in case it's not clear. This is gonna stop procrastination. Content creation is easy. The hardest part is breaking down into a system so that you can actually be consistent, that you can actually go through, find viral content, recreate it, post it. It's literally as simple as that. And this system and this automation does that so well, especially for faceless pages, but also for personal brands. Scroll in your niche, scroll through content, whether you need to create a brand new account and just follow people in that niche, you'll then get to see the viral content within that niche. Find banger videos, 10x the normal page views, go on the page, see, ah, oh, this actually breaks the norm for views. Save that video into Airtable. And then once you save seven links, run the automation, change the prompts to suit your needs. AKA, if you're a personal brand, break it down into like six key bullet points. That could be one of the prompts. Then the second one could be like, give me an idea of how I could add different CTAs for this. A save CTA, a share CTA, a like CTA, or a comment CTA. Or a final thing could be like, ah, oh, how could I turn this into an email list that I can send out as a blast to then try and send people to that video I've made. The prompts can be whatever you need. I've got it as a song and a script template and a new video, but you can literally do that anything. It could be a YouTube video, a title, and a description. Like honestly, the whole <laughs> setup for this is down to you, but how to use it, scroll, find banger videos, save them. Once you have seven saved, run your automation. You now have seven pieces of content. Go film them, post them. I'll see you in the next one. I showed you an example of how I'm incorporating it for my niche and how you can change the prompts for your niche. If you like this content and you want to see more of it, make sure to, to give me a like and subscribe to the channel and check out my school community. On the 1st of November, we're launching an insane number of courses inside there. And it's all to do with utilizing AI to build and scale creator businesses. And I've got so much value dropping in there. These are some of the examples of the things I've been up to. I'll see you guys in the next video. Your boy's gone skis.